Hey, everybody. I hope you had a great weekend. And I hope that um, as you get into uh, today's stuff, that you really concentrate on making sure that you have the ability to read and understand and interpret graphs well. It's a skill that's going to come into play on multiple tests this year. So you want to make sure you've got a good grasp of it. So you're going to have lots of practice on reading and interpreting graphs today. So first of all, let's get into um, the homework a little bit and what you did there. And if uh, you can see my screen here, this is some of the homework questions. And the first question just simply asked you, when will India surpass China in population? And this simply is getting at, uh, you have to read which graph. And so since this one um, is actually about the population, you check out this graph, do a little cross section here, and you can see that India, the blue line, is going to pass, supposedly, unless things change, China's population right around, I would say, 2027, 2028, somewhere in there. So hopefully that was your answer. All right, the next one, a little bit more about interpreting graphs. So in this one, you'll see that this graph is more about urbanization. And you can see the rural versus urban populations and how they have uh, changed over time. And you can see that um, China's population supposedly, this was done you know, about 2006, passed, the urban population passed the rural population sometime around 2015. Um, but the question is saying, make a prediction. So we got to say, okay, so what could this graph potentially tell us? Well, an easy prediction would be that, oh, India is, India's urban population will pass um, its rural population sometime around maybe 2040. Uh, would be a prediction that you could have based on this graph because you see the trends there. Uh, you can also get a little more in depth and say, okay, well, what does this mean? Because I want to understand meaning behind things. And so you could say, okay, well, one of the things I see is that um, China is China's urban population is growing at a much greater rate than India's. And so prediction, um, they will buy a lot more cars or have the need for a lot more um, uh, mass transit or something along those lines, making a prediction connecting urban population to the need for mass transportation. Or you could make a prediction um, that eventually China's urban population percentage will decline or slow down um, as they as as they get crowded cities. So there's a variety of things that you could predict there. Um, but uh, something maybe a little more in depth was what I would be hoping for from you. Not something just simple like India's urban population will pass India's rural population. That would be an easy answer. Okay, next one. According, excuse me. According to the graph, what are the three largest religions in the world? Now, at face value, this seems simple. Christianity, Islam, and the next largest percentage though is not religious. And this question basically gets at um, what I will occasionally get from students and that is they will just put the three largest things. In which case you would literally be saying the third largest religion in the world is not religious. That doesn't make any sense as an answer. So this is where you always have to make sure that your answer makes sense. So the correct answers there are Christianity, Islam, and Hinduism. Hopefully you got that. Uh, next question, top 10 date producing countries um, uh, is the, the name of the graph here. How many tons of dates are produced in Egypt in 2001? Correct answer is 1,100,000. Occasionally, I will get some students for whatever reason that put 1.5 million or 1,500,000 or 1,100,000, something along those lines. The correct answer there is 1,100,000 because it's right in between 1 million and 1.2 million. Um, the next uh, question here, question five, and this again is one of those predictions, one of those things where you as an inquisitive student need to notice trends. Um, and so if you look here, this is the top 10 date producing countries, Algeria, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Libya, Oman, Pakistan, Saudi Arabia, Sudan, United Arab, United Arab Emirates. What do all those places have in common? Well, they're in the Middle East and they all tend to be fairly 
dry. There is not a lot of precipitation in pretty much any of those countries. So what could that tell you? Uh, a couple of possible predictions here. First of all, uh, well, it actually asks what is, about the type of plant. Okay, I would say that that type of plant grows well in dry weather. Uh, another prediction you might have is that um, dates are a popular food item in those countries. So those are a couple predictions you would make on this graph. All right, hopefully you did well on uh, this homework. Again, remember, if it gives you multiple chances to do the homework, take it till you get 100 if you can, okay?